And in the studio right now is Patrick Vincent. The 118th assembly seat is currently held by uh, Mark Butler. He is retiring at the end of the year. So the race is on between Patrick Vincent and uh, and Robert Smullen, who, who is, is from, from the Johnstown, Johnstown area. And in full disclosure, I was hired by uh, Patrick Vincent to do uh, media work. And with that out of the way, I will say good morning, Pat Vincent. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you're nearing the end of uh, at least phase one here. Um, we were just talking about uh, if whether it's high-speed Internet or, or whatever, your district is, uh, the district you're going after here, is is pretty big, it makes it pretty evident that there's a problem when it comes to, at the very least, cell service. Yes, yes cell, cell service is a huge issue. issue. Uh, you, you don't, don't have to go, go very, very far out of the, the, uh, the Utica area, area to see, see that there's, there's, there's a problem. You start dropping cell phone yeah. coverage rather, rather quickly. quickly. Uh, uh, many of our first responders also have issues in the, uh, you know, you know, upper, upper, upper states, states uh, of Ohio area, uh, uh, Raleigh North, you know, you, you, they're never very, very far, and you're dropping, you know, dropping yeah, cell no. coverage. It's, it's a really big issue out on Route 29 headed into Johnstown. Uh, uh, all right, what's the, uh, you're, a, you're a businessman, you uh, you have a business uh, with your family in, uh, in the Poland area? Yes, yes, my wife and I, I own Vincentini Fuel Service, and uh, uh, she's, she's the majority owner. owner. She owns 51%, I own 49%, and by that rate, she is my boss. It's a tough world up there, guys. I don't think you need a business uh, to have that situation, that dynamic. In a, in what's, a yeah, what's the ratio at home? Is it still 51-49? No, it's, it's a good 50-50. We, yeah. we have a really good relationship, my wife and I. I really can't complain about that, guys. It's been... Uh, 34 years of great marriage, you know, do we have our tough times like any of us? Certainly, but the, in, in, in the business world, I refer to her, and she refers to me, and we work to make it work great. Uh, okay, I, I, I want to ask you about um, this. How do you think you can make it? This is a very big district. Um, how can you make a difference when you would be in the, you're, you're going to be in the minority? Certainly. And uh, there's a good chance that the the Senate loses its Republican majority. Uh, or at the very, I think they might have already done that. I forget about where we are exactly right now. But they've they've been able to work uh, with other Democrats. You're in a big minority there. How do you get anything done? Well, this, well, this, is, this, is, this is very interesting, interesting. And, I've and I've talked about this many times out here uh, in, the in the public eye. eye. Uh, uh, you know, as, a as a businessman, that's, that's, that's the difference between a businessman and a politician. Politicians, politicians wait for their turn to talk. Businessmen, businessmen listen. Because, because if we don't listen to our customers, customers we're never going to sell anything. So, so that, that, that being said, said it's, it's much easier for us. For us. I, don't I don't ask anybody before I sell oil or anything else, uh, any other product I own, or sell to them, uh, are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? Right. What's, what's, your, what's your polarization right. factor? Yeah. So, no, so we don't have any of that. And, 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 and in the bottom line, it makes it much easier for me to reach out and talk to many Democrats which I already have. You'd, You'd be surprised. Uh, the amount of Democrats have reached out to me already and asked about, about you know, working, working together to make upstate, upstate better. better. There, there is a divide, divide though, um, between, between way of life, life um, philosophies. philosophies. Uh, and and I, I guess the Democrats that are upstate, uh, we have a far better chance of being able to find common ground with those Democrats. But when you look at um, when when you look at the city, uh, they don't understand why why we need guns up here. They don't understand. Uh, uh, all of these issues that are so important to the people upstate. There, there again, uh, many, many of the politicians, I say, have, have no sense of loss because they've, they've never owned, owned anything uh, like, a, like, a, like a gun, gun or, or they've, they've never owned a four-wheeler four four or side-by-side. Side. When, they, when don't they don't have those experiences, experiences they, don't they don't know. They, they, they just figure, well, well, how's everybody voting? It's no. Until they really enjoy it, like I said, one of my things would be to actually bring some of these people out from the city and show them the comforts of being out here in the area in the rural districts. And and really, I don't know how many actually ever, ever come out here and seen it's a cultural, cultural divide. divide. It's it a huge cultural divide. divide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, and I think, think that would be the best thing to do is bring some some of the uh, uh, inner cities of New York City up here, and you know, even in Binghamton, lower areas, bring them up to the upstate regions, beautiful upstate area region. Key issues for you, if elected. Key issues. Term limits is a really big issue. We have to address this, ladies and gentlemen. And really, throughout the state, seventy-one percent of Democrats. I think it's a it's a rough number, but I think I'm using some of Joe Griffin's numbers. And some, and some 91% of the Republicans, Republicans uh, really, really want, want, uh, want to uh, want want term limits. And, and it's, I think, if, if, uh, I think actually, actually, if it gets brought to the floor, floor it, it may, may have, have a chance of passing. Uh, it's, it's just, just uh, it, it was hesitant to floor. Well, right. No, you're you're right. But it is a really big issue, and I think people are really seeing it out there. They're tired of I'll tell you, you don't. 
you can talk to anybody out there in the general eye and ask them about how they feel about term limits. They're going to tell you it's a must. They'll yeah. say, those that are against, and I'm not a big term limits guy, to be honest yeah. with you. Um, well, it's a big uh, issue in here in Utica. It is a big issue. Oh, it's a huge it's issue. Polarizing here right issue now. down here in Utica. Yeah. But I, I do believe that, um, that, that we do have term limits, and that's every election. The sure. problem is getting people out to elect. The other thing is, is gerrymandering, and you see it in your district and these oh. other. Uh, Brian Miller's district is uh, is even crazier. How it's just these are carved out in the most unique ways to be able to get incumbents reelected. If we could get rid of that, it might solve the term limits problem. But I do think there's something to be said for people in office that do have experience. Now, now with that, that said, said, you, you can, can also, also point, point to Silver, silver and, and all the others. others. Experience, experience and corruption. corruption. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Touche on that one. Can I ask a couple things? things? One, I want to ask about your opponent's campaign uh, advertisement. Uh, advertisement. But first, first, the issue, the issue with, with the paperwork, the paperwork and, the and the exemption. He came, he came on the air and said it was a mistake. I think you're running some ads saying, you know, he's calling that an attack on veterans. You're saying... The attack, the attack on veterans, veterans that you're misusing, misusing an exemption. Uh, uh, can, you can you address that? Exactly. You, you can't, can't take dual exemptions on property you don't own, or don't live in, I should say. You own it, but you don't live there. Um, that's a really big issue. Uh, he was arrested and given a felony charge for it. So it's not it's not what Pat Vincent thinks anymore. It's what, what's the state trooper Did you have anything to do with that? He made that allegation. No, I had nothing to do with it at all. Um the documents, documents, I, I, I had documents, documents in my hand that certain individuals wanted to take a look at. at. I, I, I got them through uh, Freedom of Information. They, they want to look at them. I sent it to them. them. That's, that's how did you, you provide them, them to police? police? No. No, no, no. no. no they, 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 they came, came and got, got them, them from me, uh, being at uh, um, police did? No, 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 no. Um, Town board members wanted it. So they asked for it, and I said, here you go. And I had no affiliation with them after that. How could you get it and they couldn't? It's, it's all a FOIL request. request. Yeah. So I just sent a FOIL request in because what happened was when you all you need is a simple Google search, you can see where somebody's taxes are. I mean, so opposition research being what it is. So sure. they, were, they did their due diligence on me, and I, I already saw that that was coming at me. So I just did a simple Google search, and I saw that he was taking dual, ex- dual exemptions on his properties. So it just, it just spiraled from there. In his recent ad, I believe, I believe it But there again, I had nothing to do with his arrest. His arrest, he was arrested. Because, because the charges, charges brought from, from him from the town, town, town of Johnstown board, board members. It is recent ad. ad. There's something, something very odd. odd. He talks, he talks about, about, you know, he's, he's a veteran. veteran. He, gets he gets into this, this thing about, about Pat, Pat Vincent. Vincent. Stay, Stay away from, from my, my, my wife, wife and my family, family or my wife, wife and my kids. kids. Oh. Oh. Was, was there an incident? Was there an episode? Do you know what this is a reference to? There is. This is a desperate plea to put, put some, some kind of darkness, darkness on me, and, and, and it's not, not, work, not working at all. I've run, I've run a flawless campaign. campaign. He knows that, and he apparently feels that he's way behind. Because the only way you run that kind of ad is in a, 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 a despicable ad at that. I mean, it is, is the most ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life put out on TV. Uh, is when you're way behind, behind or you feel you're, you're losing. losing. So, so that's the only way you would do something like that. But it, 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 it struck me as odd. The claim has there been, and, and there's, there's been, been no interaction between me have and you any had... member of their family whatsoever. None. Zero. Zero okay. interaction. Okay. Right. Not, I, I, no, exactly not. So, so throwing, throwing out there saying, saying stay away from my wife and children is... In, in it's an abomination. Of, uh, it's an abomination. It's, 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 it's to imply that you've done something. Yes, yes. It's it's all it is to imply put some, some kind of question mark, mark out there, plant a seed, that's that's only, that's only, and you say zero. 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 No, no, no zero. interaction, no, no, no this, this, nothing. There's two rules in politics, guys. I'm on record with both of them. One, you don't lie. The other one is you never involve your family. The only person I've ever involved in my family is my wife. And, and she, she perceives my proud spouse. I'm proud of her. Beside, beside me, no matter where you are, you, you never, never involve, involve your family in any political, any political conversation. conversation. Yet he, yet he has done it repeatedly. Right. He, drags, he, drags, he, drags he drags his family in almost every conversation. conversation. And I'm, on I'm on record in, in, in two uh, instances, instances. I think it was in the Daily Gazette and the Times Union, or Times, or times the Telegram, stating point blank, blank you never, never ever, ever bring your family into a political conversation. That's a bad little break. Finally, quickly, tomorrow's the primary day. You want people to vote for you. Oh, yes. Vote for, vote for Patrick Vincent. Vincent. You want term limits? You want a businessman business in, in Albany? You don't want, you don't want an old politician. politician. All right. All right. We appreciate, appreciate your time. time. Thanks, Thanks so much.